Disclaimer. The following skit is based entirely on fictional characters and plots. All presumptions of the future is loosely based on the writer's understanding of climate change and the effects of global warming in the future. It does not, in any way, represent the stand of NEA or any other related agencies. Now, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I can't talk too long because I got this project to do by tomorrow. Okay, love you. Bye bye. Oh, hi everybody. Oh, the weather outside is really crazy today. My dad always tells me that Singapore weather is like a woman. Unpredictable. <laughs> As you can tell, my daddy doesn't know a lot about women or climate change. Speaking of climate change, I have a project to do about it by tomorrow. I wouldn't do that if I were you. 
temperature outside is about 48 degrees Celsius. Uh -huh. But the nights are cooler. 5 degrees Celsius. Okay, where is my aircon? Um, no. Aircon or bank just takes up too much energy. Huh? Only in certain government registered laboratories, aircons are allowed. Please tell me there's some good news. Good news, good news, good news. Ah, good news! This whole house is solar powered. Okay, so I can switch on the fan. Uh, well, it's just that it's been raining for the past month and the sun only came out today. So you take about uh, 12 hours to power up anything around the house. Seems like there's been a lot of changes in the past, I mean, the, the next 20 years, huh? And it seems like they're all a result of climate change. Hmm. That's right. It's been going on since your time. It's just that people did not know how disastrous it can be and did not take it seriously. It all started with the CO2. Carbon, emission and methane gas too. Tripping and trapping makes it hard to get through. Thus our atmosphere is now not so cool. Together we'll fight. We will not stop till we get it right. First sign ends from the polar caps. The heat from the sun's causing ice cap to sweat. When all the ice starts to collapse, even polar bears can escape these heads. Climate change has changed the world. But your hurricane begins to twirl. Come on, join in together and fight. You will not stop till we get it right. Next, it comes from all the disease, viruses, parasites, even dengue. Heat waves gonna make us look so weak. Even Mother Earth is gonna fall so sick. Climate change has changed the world. What drop hurricane begins to twirl? Come on, join in together and fight. We will not stop till we get it right. Climate change has changed the world. What drop hurricane begins to twirl? Come on, join in together and fight. We will not stop till we get it right. So, how disastrous has it become? The human disaster or the natural disaster? Sounds serious. Um, natural disasters? Well, the Antarctic glaciers and the part of North Pole has melted, causing many cities to submerge into the sea. Cities like Venice, part of Europe and entire Brazil is gone too! Wow, sounds like a lot of people must have lost their homes. That's right, about 50 million people have to be relocated and not counting the death caused by the tsunami which hit the coastal areas. Tsunamis? That's right. It, then what about the fishes in the sea? Were they affected too? Well, the effects of marine life stretches even further than that. Well, uh, okay, you're scaring me, okay? Fish is my favourite food. I can't do without it. Well, due to the emission of carbon dioxide, the pH level has increased, thus killing all the coral reefs, planktons, and the small things that the small fish feed on. And when the small fish die, the big fish that eat the small fish die too leading to like a, a chain reaction and the extinction of all the sea creatures. That's right. I just lost my appetite. So anyway, um, you were talking about the uh, human disasters? Yeah. Is, is this my home?
Till we get it right, till we get it right, till we get it right. 